Cell Pack, your one-stop shopping for rubber and plastic materials. Today we'll be making a tutorial on latex mask using a plaster mold and a Cell Pack Latex RL460. We need to make an impression of a mask, which is done in plaster and mostly clay. We'd be using the RLM460 mask making latex. We have roughly a little over a half a pound here. I am pouring it into the cavity. And in this tutorial, we're going to be doing a brush mask mold. Uh, you can also fill the cavity up to the top, let it sit for a half hour, and it will coagulate on the surface, but that requires a lot more latex than what we're using today. I will now brush it into all the detail. Uh, your plaster mold should be dry. If you're using it for multiple masks, you can also dry it out in the oven at 200 degrees for an hour. And we will take and make sure we get into all the intricate details of the surface. Latex is an air dried material. A dry plaster will also suck out the moisture inward, helping the rubber to coagulate on the surface. The pool of latex will remain liquid as the agents in it are not evaporating quick enough to coagulate it. Silpak makes five different latexes for various projects from mold making to mask to prosthetics. Once we finish with our first coat, we can put it in a Ziploc bag, push all the air out, and this will keep the brush fresh for the next coat. We also placed a plastic over the piece to allow the plaster to pull in some of the water. And our second brushing Again, we will go back over everything, accumulating a thin coat of latex onto the surface. If you get a little bit over the top edge, all this can be trimmed afterwards, so no reason to worry about that. Uh, if there is a concern, you can tape the top. As simple as that, second coat brushed around, plastic laid on top, and we'll wait another half hour. After building up several coats, you will see it change color. When this is the case the next day, you can demold the mask. When the mask is freshly demolded, it may want to stick to itself. So a little talcum powder will keep the rubber, which is still slightly curing. As you see, we have a lion's head. And in this piece, we filled the lion's head with a urethane polyfoam. And I thank you for joining us here at Silpac.